everybody welcome back uh, my beautiful sister is gonna be my model today and only because it's my birthday she made that very clear the older they get the sweeter they get but she's so beautiful so with that being said I have been practicing with rainbow cakes and you know you're either gonna love them or you're gonna hate them me I personally love them because I like the fact that you can get a lot of colors really quickly so because it's St. Patrick's Day coming up in like two weeks. I'm going to use my St. Patrick's Rainbow Cake, a bunch of assortments of green. I'm going to show you I'm going to use it different ways. So I start off by just rubbing my sponge across it so that I load all those colors, just like I do with my other ones. And now close your eyes. I start on a diagonal, press it on her face, just bring it down. So I'm just bringing it kind of around her eye. Then I'm going to take my number 12 flat, or this is actually a three-fourths flat. And I am going to load it in my rainbow cake as well. So what I'm going to do is just back and forth, back and forth. So that I'm picking up the dark green on the edge and I'm loading my brush both ways. So I'm going to show you how to do a really fast and simple four-leaf clover. Turn your head that way. So I'm gonna, on this design, what I'm going to do is make a bunch of four-leaf clovers. So you start with your brush straight, loop it around and around. I'm going to loop it around and around for the other leaf, around and around for the other leaf. And I'm going to make a small one and just kind of drag it out for the, uh, for the stem of the four leaf clover. Now most clovers are not four leaves, but you know what? This works. So again, I'm going to do another one here. I'm going to loop it down and around. Again, leading with the dark green down and around, down and around. And I'll pull that one out. And then I'm going to switch to my number 12 brush just so that I can make smaller, uh, make smaller clovers. I load it the same way back and forth, but again, I want the darker green on the end so it'll highlight and shade all at once. So I'm just, again, I'm looping it, keeping the dark green on the outside. Pulling it down, turn a little bit more to, to the middle. Thank you, beautiful. And again, the same way. She's so beautiful, my God. Loop, 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 loop. Pull it down. So now what I have here is the beginning of a really cute eye design that you can do. And you can do this along the neckline, you can do it just a few by the eye. So basically what I'm going to do now is just add a few swirls and curls around this eye. So I'm just going to squiggle it out, make a dot, squiggle it, turn that way. So it's not my typical swirls and curls. But this is just so that I can add a little bit of a different design element to it. Experiment with different things. That's what I like to do. So turn a little bit towards me so I can see. So then in the corner of the eye, I'm going to do my famous dots. And up here, I'm just going to build off of it. Same thing up there and inside of here because I have some extra room and I'm going to connect it right underneath the eyes. Right under here, follow the eye, just really soft. Right underneath her eye. And I'm going to add a few more squigglies into her eye. And even down here too just to kind of bring it all together. Right there. And you want them kind of 
just scattered. All right, turn a little bit towards the other way. And then just to fill in, I'm doing my dots of different sizes all over the place. Again, that's an extra step. You don't have to do it. And then to finish it off, close your eyes. Just a little poof of glitter all over her hair. Just like she loves, because she's my favorite. And then that's it. So you have a fast and simple St. Patrick's design using your square brush and your St. Patrick's rainbow cake. And again, you can take your rainbow cake, turn it into a butterfly. I'll show you guys how to do a St. Patrick's cat. Or just do the whole face, frame it with your four-leaf clovers. It's really up to you. So happy St. Patrick's Day.